So, you want to build a PC. You've got a budget, you've got the time, you've got the know-how from watching my step-by-step -step guides or maybe one of my live streams, right? Right? Goes up to real beta light right now. But where are you gonna find the parts from? Well, you have the usual suspects, but I have an option that you may not know about or may not have even know existed. Curious what I'm talking about? Sure, you can go to places like Newegg or Amazon, or even if you're super lucky and you live near a micro center, you can walk in and buy most of what you need, whether that's nabbing a CPU, a motherboard, RAM, or whatnot. But what about the GPU? Where are you gonna get that from? The Newegg Shuffle, a scalper, Best Buy drops? Those are all extremely tough places to grab a GPU from, and frankly, even talking about this subject feels like we continue to be a very, very dead horse. Since the chip shortage, we've seen places online that let you build your own bundle, like Ant Online, or even Newegg, which lets you bundle the whole PC and build it for you, but what's the fun in that? But you're going to pay a premium regardless for all of the parts they bundle with it. But what if you could build your own bundle from one of the best companies in the game today? Would you be interested? Well, of course you would. Well, EVGA, that's right, I said EVGA has created the EVGA DIY Configurator, a place where you can buy some of the best components, and dare I also say some of the best price components in the game and build your own bundle from their entire catalog. That's right, I said their entire catalog, if it is in stock at the time. Now I have to say, even I was surprised by that. I mean, Kingpin EVGA 3090 signed by Jacob, yep. EVGA 360 CLC Cooler, you betcha. Robitech edition of the G6 PSU? Okay, well, well, that's not a thing. But if it was, yep, you could buy it, like in my dreams. Come on, EVGA, let's make power together. Okay, Roby, but there have to be stipulations, right? Are their prices inflated like I would see from like places like Amazon or eBay? Well, guess what? They are not. In fact, EVGA has been one of the few companies next to Founder Edition cards and AMD reference cards that haven't had to raise their prices as high as some companies like Gigabyte or Asus. How are they doing that? I don't know, but they are, and it's glorious. Okay, Roby, so this EVGA DIY configurator, how do I get to this thing? How do I get it started? Well, first you go to www.evga.com slash product slash DIY. Don't, don't worry, there's a link down in the description below. All right, now that you're there, you will notice that EVGA does have a few stipulations, not price, on what you have to pick in the bundle. But before we get into that, do you like this type of content or coverage and want to get more videos on this? Then make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we are always trying to suss out these kind of opportunities and cover new tools like this that make your PC building experience that much better. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can walk away with some cold hard cash as well. <laughs> so, back to it. First, you have to pick a GPU. Now, now I know what you're seeing. GPUs don't come in stock too often, and right now the only thing I'm seeing right there is a GT1030, right now. But we've been able to go to the site and get a 3070 Ti for the Win 3, no problem. In fact, we've already received our 3070 Ti, and we've seen other GPUs on there, such as 3080, 3080 Ti's, and variants of both. The point is, is if EVGA has it in stock, they're gonna be available as a DIY option. And EVGA seems to be getting GPUs in stock more often than a lot of other companies. But again, we're directly buying from them. Oh, and did I mention that awesome price? The second thing you have to pick is a PSU. And they range from like the Supernova 450 GM SFF PSUs all the way up to their 1600 watt Supernova T2 Titanium PSU, Robitech edition. Okay, there, there was no Ruby Tech Edition, but the point is all PSU, all efficiencies such as bronze, silver, gold, platinum, titanium are included. Now that's great, Roby, so I can get a 3080 Ti, then cheap out on the rest of the parts and buy the cheapest thing possible. Well, no, not really. If you are gonna choose a 3080 Ti, you aren't gonna be able to pick up like a 450 watt PSU. The site will have you choose a compatible PSU for the GPU you are picking. This is done via EVGA's recommendation engine that's built into their site so you can get the right PSU for the GPU. If you wanna find out what they actually recommend for each GPU, check their product pages under specs, by the way, in case you're curious. They do this for a few reasons. One, it makes a lot of sense to make sure you're buying a compatible PSU that will at least supply the bare minimum amount of power recommended for the GPU. I mean, you're paying a thousand plus dollars in some cases, and you wanna make sure that your PSU can handle it and not ruin it, right? And two, 
they're a business, and for businesses to stay profitable and be able to bring you things like the DIY configurator and the highest quality of components in the game, they need to make sure you don't do what's worse for you, choose something incompatible that ends up ruining your card, and then they have to pay for the RMA. Yeah, that's bad, and then that's how companies go broke. So here at Robitech, we are fully on board with EVGA having you buy a PSU that's compatible for the GPU you choose. I mean, it just makes sense, and to be honest, their PSUs are very competitively priced, like for real. And they are both super reliable and high quality, so all in all, it really is a win-win for you, the consumer. All right, back to what else you have to choose to complete the DIY configurator. After you've selected your GPU and PSU, you can pick from one of the following categories. This is critical, one of the following categories. So you have to choose a total of three. From motherboards, you can choose like their X570 Dark or their For The Win series, or even Intel boards like their Z690 Classified board, which I really wish were in stock more often if you really wanna ink out all of the power out of those latest 12th gen CPUs. Okay, so you don't need a motherboard or the EVGA boards aren't your thing, which, okay, no problem. You can choose a cooling solution from their CLC series, which are indeed some of the best options on the market and some of the least expensive ones out there too. Oh, and guess what? They actually do perform. They just lack a lot of the flash like other coolers, though there is one on the horizon with flash and style coming very soon. But I don't need cooling, Roby. What else is there? Well, you can choose a mouse like the X20 Wireless or the X17 Wired. Even the X15 MMO mouse is an option or a keyboard like the Z20 or Z15. There are also other items you can choose from, such as like capture cards like the XR1 Pro or XR1 Lite. Both are great options if you're looking to get into streaming for your PC or console. So a ton of different options, and guess what? You don't have to choose one from each category like we mentioned, just a GPU and a PSU, which the pairing makes a ton of sense here, followed by a third item, which is completely up to you. It's pretty rad and customer friendly to boot. Okay, now that we've run down all the options, what about the prices? Well, the prices are actually pretty straightforward. Whatever price you see on the product page, that's the price. If it's on sale, then the price of the product in the configurator is on sale as well. So there's no conflated prices. Whatever it costs at the time is what it will cost in the configurator. But Roby, I'm an EVGA Elite member and some of the prices aren't matching my Elite member prices. The answer to that is, they're not going to. Being an Elite member of EVGA gets you more than just cheaper prices on products. It also gets you things like entry into their daily and monthly giveaways, as well as early hardware access and a whole lot more. The fact that you're getting sale prices on a lot of their items is amazing. And frankly, if that's the issue you're gonna have with this whole thing, then you kind of need to check your priorities, mate. Now, when we found a 3070 Ti on the GPU list, we got it for $829.99. For the rest of the bundle, we chose an 850 P5 Platinum PSU we got for $169.99 when the MSRP for that was actually $199.99. We also grabbed the CLC 280mm AIO, which we got for $99.99 when the MSRP for that was $139.99. Checkout process, anything else, was normal and a breeze as most things on EVGA's site are, especially after the whole GPU craze debacle, their site seems to be having no issues with this anymore. So, all up, we paid a total of $1,099.97. That was for a 3070 Ti, a solid PSU, and a 360 millimeter AIO, and we saved $70 off of MSRP. There is not another bundle company that does this this well. And just to prove it, we actually went out and found a bundle online. For comparison, because that's the right thing to do, we went and found a bundle on Ant Online and decided to price it out completely and compare it to prices to EVGA site. So here's the bundle we came up with. We got an EVGA 3080 Ti, which is $1429.99 on EVGA, an EVGA CLC 280mm AIO, $74.99 on EVGA, an EVGA Supernova 850GA, which is $109.99 on EVGA, an EVGA X17 Gaming Mouse Black, $49.99 on EVGA, and an EVGA C15 keyboard with speed silver switches, $64.99 on EVGA, three months of Xbox Game Pass, $29.99 on Amazon or anywhere, that comes to $17.59.94 before tax. Ant Online, the bundle sells for $18.59.94. That's a $100 markup and forcing you to buy way more than what EVGA had you pick. Sure, they're all great things that are actually bundled, but the $100 markup, eh, given what we can get with the EVGA configurator, it makes us shy away from them with the fact that you have to buy three extra things in there that you may not even want or need. Now, when you purchase anything from EVGA, you get all their warranties on it. Just make sure you register the parts with them and you can find all the information on that down in the description below. Okay, so we've ran down the entire gauntlet of the EVGA DIY configurator, and we feel, honestly, this is probably one of the best options in the market, but you do have to be into EVGA stuff, so if you're not, this may not be your thing. 
The other thing that's actually worth mentioning is that if you do purchase stuff from EVGA, you do get access to their customer service and we've had a really great experience with them in the past, both with fixing stuff. And if anyone remembers, in case you forget from the New World thing, EVGA, what they did for customers who had cards broken there, it's pretty top notch. That's awesome, Roby. How do I win the cash? Well, I'm glad you asked. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It can be negative. It just needs to be some sort of feedback that's well thought out about the video, what surprised you, etc. Just not, I deserve to win, can I has a free PC or something similarly lame. You also need to ensure that you have a way for us to reach you via your YouTube profile. Now, we'll be giving away $25 to one lucky comment below that is worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. So. What did you think about the EVGA DIY configurator? Does this seem like a tool you would actually use? What do you think about the option? Do you find it advantageous as a customer? Do you even know what advantageous means? We would love to know all of that down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know that we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? Check out Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to know when we go live on that channel as well. Have questions about the configurator or what the word advantageous means? Then check out our amazing Discord server filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Looking for cheap tech? or GPU availability, or anything else about subjects like this, then check out at robytechdeals.com or at robytechdeals on Twitter, where you can have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things tech, from PC components to televisions. Finally, you can also follow me and my team and all the other socials at Robytech everywhere. We're even on the TikTok. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.